here with um, you can say I'm not well. Here with uh, Justin Watson, Brad's home high school in um, Albuquerque, New Mexico. We got done with the uh, UNM individual camp. They had their pretty much camp week these past couple days, and um, brings in his second offer today, which is from the Lobos. Um, why don't you just tell us kind of you know um, what it means to you to to bring in your second offer and your first offer from the state of New Mexico? Oh, it's it's really relieving. I mean. All the coaches I've talked to around the nation said it's really important to get your in-state uh, university an offer from them, and I've been waiting for this for a long time. And uh, I mean, growing up, I've always watched Lobos, and I mean, Lobos are everywhere in New Mexico, so you're you kind of grow up a fan, and it's just it's real relieving, and I'm glad it's here. Now we talked about the importance of you know coming to the Lobo camp so they could actual actually see you. Um, did that have a lot to do with the offer, uh, just you being physically on campus instead of just, you know, sending in your highlight tape? Oh, I believe so. I mean, I was here a couple of days ago, and it was just seven on seven. It was I really didn't do any drop backs or anything, and so they couldn't see anything. All they could see was pretty much arm strength, and that was a big thing with Coach Reeves and Coach Lasky is that they wanted to see drops and footwork and just uh, overall – presence in the pocket so I mean I thought I think it was a good idea and a great uh, opportunity for me to come down and get my second offer now you and I'm obviously has a new quarterback um, new <coughs> quarterback coach sorry about that coach Reeves um, what's your relationship um, with him like and, and what is what is he about what does he bring to the table oh uh, he I mean this is my second time I've ever talked to him I talked to him the other day at seven on seven uh, come from Tennessee and I think he's going to bring a lot to the table. I think he knows what he's doing. He's been around it for a while. I mean, he's just like Coach Locke. He's, he's been in the recruiting process. He's coached a lot of good quarterbacks. And uh, we'll just we'll see what he can do. And I'm sure he'll do fine here. What is your interest level? I mean, no beating around the bush. Let's get to it. What is your, your interest level in Lobos? I mean, um, you know, I, I, I believe, in my opinion, the, the recruiting phase is, you know, going to continue to pick up as we head into the – this season, but what's your interest level in the Lobos? Uh, it'd have to be I mean, really high. I mean, I've always wanted to go to an in-state school, just kind of be the home state hero. And uh, just the coaches, I mean, they're just so down to earth. And I mean, they just kind of tell you how it is and whether it's good or bad. And they like to jack around a little bit. They like to have fun. And I mean, the, the, I actually went on a, a campus tour today. That was the first time I've ever been on campus. And I was really impressed. So I mean, Right as as of right now, really high. I'm really enjoying it. Transitioning over to the head coach Mike Loxley, um, first year obviously you know they took some lumps and I, I think you know reputation reputation wise he took some lumps. But you know just you know Coach Loxley honestly kind of year over year I think he's really starting to get things going and I think you know he's starting to kind of um, really fit in right now with with where he's at and I think. Um, you know, showing two offers today because Anthony Kennedy got offered today. Um, you know, he's really making an effort to get those New Mexico guys back and play at the next level to his program. Um, talk about just Coach Loxley and your relationship with him and, and kind of the <coughs> vibe that you get just kind of being at the camp and, and kind of being on site here in Albuquerque. Well, I sat down with Coach Cl uh, Loxley today for about an hour in his office, and he kind of told me some stories about him at Florida and Maryland and Illinois. And I, he said, I mean, he was the first one to tell me, I mean, the first years there, I think, out of all three three first years, he had a combined of like five wins. And the second season, he dropped up to about 500. And the third season, they were up to eight or nine wins. And by that fourth, I mean, with Illinois, he was in the Rose Bowl. So, I mean, I think he's going to – his. he was telling me today, his the rough part's over. His first year's done. He's going to start focusing on recruiting. He's going to get some good recruits. They've had a couple of transfers from Ohio State. And uh, – Oh, what was the other college? I can't remember the other college, but it was another big SEC college. And I think they're going to get some recruits rolling in here, and they're going to be good in a couple of years. We're both going to New Mexico <coughs> State um, tomorrow for, for the Aggies camp. Um, talk about what's on tap with the Aggies. Are they showing interest? Do you, do you believe that an offer could be on the table down in New Mexico State? Tell me a little bit about um, Walker and staff and, and how, they're, how they've been treating you. Well, the – First off, the one that recruited me what, that came up to the school was uh, Coach Will Martin, the DB coach there, and he was a really nice guy. I really enjoyed talking to him and just visiting with him. Um, the way 
they're talking the way they sound. I mean, it's they want to offer, but I mean, it's just like every other university in the nation. What they tell me is that they just need to see me in person first, and I I respect that because at the quarterback position, you only get one chance, really. So I mean, you got to make the right choice, and I just want to go down there and kind of visit and get to know those guys and see if I can come out with an offer.